Hey guys, I'm back today with another video. Um, I'm still going to be doing my weigh-in videos for you guys and um, everything like that, so don't worry. But today I thought I would film something a little bit different. I've been sick all this week and I'm finally starting to feel better. But um, yeah, my daughter's birthday is actually coming up and every year we like to... Me and my fiance, we like to um, do like extravagant birthday party for her, and because we, act, he actually has a lot of um, nieces and nephews on his side of the family, so I just like getting like little goodie bags for the kids, and each year we come up with different themes and try to match the goodie bags with the themes and stuff like that so and we like to do like little prizes here and there and um like for, in games and stuff so i thought i would film this video and show you guys what this year we're doing for my daughter's birthday and maybe you know your other moms out there um trying to come up with ideas for uh birthday parties for your son or your daughter um can maybe get some ideas from me I don't know um, how helpful this would be. I know when I first started filming these videos, I, um, I mean, not filming these videos. When I first started um, doing my daughter's birthdays, um, I would try to look up ideas on YouTube, and I couldn't really find much. And, um, you know, it was kind of hard to come up with, like, themes and stuff. So I thought maybe I would make a video for you guys who's also struggling out there and maybe this would give you all some ideas so yeah if that's something you would like to see then keep watching okay so the first thing I got were it came in like this and I got it off Amazon actually and um it came in a pack of 12. I know that for my daughter's birthday party there'll be eight kids there total so, um, but this came with 12, so it came with extra in case, you know, there was going to be extra kids or, you know, some of the bags were faulty or something like that. So, but yeah, this is what the bags look like. They're kind of small, like, um, I don't know what I could show you inside compared to, like, here's my hand. Okay. So, they're kind of small, but, I mean, just to put, like, little things in, um, you know, it's not bad. And they look like this, and if you haven't noticed already, it says Superhero Party. So, um, that's the theme we went with this year. So, um, I get a cake and stuff for the theme as well, and, um, so yeah, the theme this year is superhero so came with 12 of these okay and this is what it looks like with all the stuff in it now I have my boyfriend pack my fiance package these and he did really well um because this is stuffed I mean ideally I would okay so like I was saying um my fiance packaged this and ideally I would have liked the bags to be a little bit bigger but these were the bags that I found that actually say Superhero Party. And on Amazon, it actually has, I don't know if you can see, um, but it actually has, like, Spider-Man, Iron Man, Captain America, um, Batman, and Superman. And I liked how it said this, like, boom and bam and crash and all that stuff down the side. So, very cool. But... I'm getting ready to show you guys what's in there, but I just wanted to show you that um, I like to bring in a reference photo for the bakery that I go to um, to have an idea of what I would like the cake to look like. So this is kind of what I'm hoping the cake will turn out like. Um, I just wanted to do it simple and have, because my daughter, we're actually um, putting her in a Wonder Woman outfit, so it's really cute. Um, but... Yeah, so I wanted Wonder Woman front and center, and then Superman and Batman I thought would be cool on there. And that's kind of what I just made on pick art to kind of look what I would like the cake to look like. Okay, 
So back to the goodie bags. This is the size of the bag and we have it stuffed. So let's see. So first thing you reach in, you actually pull out one of these and it is a Justice League um, and it's like a little figure. I thought the kids would like that. And um, I try to do like birthday themes that because my fiance's family has a lot a, of um, boys and girls. So I like to do like parties that um, both kids would like, like boy, not only boys, but girls too. Um, and I found that superheroes kind of, you know, both for boys and girls. I mean, really, you can make anything you want be for boys or girls. Nobody's telling you you can't. But, like, this year, we're doing superhero. Last year, we did Emoji, because the Emoji movie just came out. Um, so, we did Emoji theme. The year before that, we did Trolls, because um, I think the Trolls movie came out then. The year before that, we did Alice in Wonderland, because that's my daughter's favorite movie at the time she loved Alice in Wonderland she still does but um we did Alice in Wonderland theme in the year before that it was like zoo theme and then the year before that um was just like I think we had it at home it was when she first got home from the hospital so we just had a simple I think it was like pink zebra print everything was like pink zebra print or something but and we didn't really do goodie bags because all the kids were young then and stuff. So, um, this has definitely been going on since, like, her second birthday. So, but anyways, here's the first thing. And you can find these at Dollar Tree. Um, most of the stuff came from Dollar Tree or, like, at Walmart in, like, the dollar section. I mean, not that they have a dollar section, but most of the stuff I found at Walmart was on sale for like a dollar or some things were even less which you'll see but anyways you can find these at Dollar Tree and they're just like little figures this one happens to be Batman on the back I don't know if you could see that but on the back it shows that you could get Batman Superman Wonder Woman the Flash another type of Batman and then the Joker so I just got the ones that I could find not all of them I could find but I found a few of them a few different ones this one happens to have Batman in it okay next in here is a straw and it has spider-man on it I don't know if you can see that but again I found these at um, Dollar Tree in like a pack of like I think it came with like 12 maybe 18 something like that um, but I like that it had like a little Spider-Man cut out on it. So I put a little straw in there. Um, a notebook that I have put these stickers. I actually found these, um, stickers, which I don't know. It might be missing a sticker. I don't know. But anyways, um, I found these stickers at Walmart and it was like a big pack of them. I could, I got like 80 of these notebooks and I de decorated all these notebooks with the stickers. And um, the notebooks came from Walmart and I believe they were like 88 cents a piece maybe. They were under a dollar I know. But um, it's just like a little notebook. And yeah, I decorated it with stickers. So that's another item. Okay, the next thing in here is a Batman, and I believe this is a whistle. So it just has like the Batman logo on it. And I actually got this in a pack from Walmart that was like all Batman themed. But I thought since I found like other stuff that it would actually um, be good to put in here because, you know, Batman is a superhero. So, but the pack came with like... And it came with eight, which was awesome, of each thing. It came with eight of these whistles. Um, and I think there's more in here, but it, it came with like eight of something else. Eight, it was like a variety pack of Batman stuff. And I just put them in the goodie bags. And it's cool that it came with like eight. So that's the next thing. 
And here's another thing. It's like a puzzle. And it came from that pack as well. It's like a little maze puzzle. I don't know if you could hear it, but it's like a little puzzle thing. And then a little telescope that you could like look through. Obviously, you won't be able to look through it, but it came from that pack as well. Also, it came with a little stamp. And these were actually separate. Um, the stamps were like right next because at Walmart they have like sections of like um Batman themed stuff I think they had like Paw Patrol and Trolls and stuff like that this actually wasn't included in the variety pack but it did have like I think four in a pack for like a dollar maybe two dollars so I just got two packs so I'd have like eight of them but it's like a little stamp and it shows you the stamp on the front I don't know if you can see it but it's just a picture of Batman also, in the variety pack that did come with eight things, this is like a spin top, and it has Batman on it. Okay. This, which I actually found up front where self-checkout is and stuff in, like, the little aisles. But if you, there's, like, a little button, and it's Batman. And if you slide it up, it's like a little popsicle. Or, you know, sucker. So, that's what was in there. Okay. And the next thing is this Pez dispenser. This one actually is... I'm not sure who this is. Uh, I don't know. It's a superhero that came in a pack of four. And um, it had this guy. And it had um, Cyborg. I know he was in it. And Superman and Batman. And it's a pack of four. So I ended up getting two packs. So there's two of each. This one happens to have this guy. And um, I got those at Walmart. That was probably one of the most expensive things. I think it was like 12 bucks for four of them. You could definitely find these cheaper. But um, I don't know. I always put... Like, I try to find, I don't know if Pez has been stuff I've found every time. I know last year I found Emoji Pez, so I put those in a good goodie bag. And then, um, the year before that, I found Troll Pez's off Amazon. So, I mean, I do try to do somewhat of the same thing. So, again, got a Pez. And to go with that is the candy that you put in it, the Pez candy. Next is, oops, okay, next I have, things are like sticking, okay, next I have just a sticker, a sheet of stickers, I found these at Walmart, it was like a book of stickers, and there was like, I think there was like eight sheets or something, so, that one looks like this and um, came with like two different styles like this sheet and then there was like a blue sheet that had like different types of stickers and it was all in one book so I ripped out one sheet so they could have stickers that they could either like put in their notebook or they could like you know do whatever they want with it basically but get a little sheet of stickers this is a little activity book that says you could color Batman on it. I don't know if that's focusing. But um says you could color Batman. And then I believe you could open it up. And yeah, there's a puzzle on the back. Or not on the inside, but like like I said, you could put they could put their stickers in there or whatever. And it's just like a little maze. But this came in that pack of um all the Batman stuff that you get eight of those as well and then let's see I think this is the last item that that packet came with and these are like rulers and it came with a ruler so a Batman ruler okay next these which is one of my favorite things I think is these marshmallow pops you could find these um at Walmart 
I always see them in the Valentine Day section because my daughter's birthday is in February. So we end up finding a lot of the stuff um, for her birthday in the Valentine's Day section. And um, for instance, these pops, if you see it, they have hearts on them. But this one it is Avengers. And this is actually Captain America. So it is a superhero. So I got that. And I think they had Hulk as well. So I got like four Captain Americas and four Hulks, which I love these because last year, no, the year before, I found these um, Marshmallow Pops and they were actually trolls. And, um, and those the kids really like. So they're a dollar each too, which is not bad because it's pretty big. But yeah, so this one is Captain America. Also, I don't know if I'll be able to get this out yet. Yes, I think so. Also, oh man, this one bent. Oh well, I need to be careful with it. Like I said, since my daughter's birthday is in February, I found these Avengers little and they're in the shape of a heart. But it says Happy Valentine's Day. Or have a super Valentine's Day. But since it had superheroes on it. I thought that would be perfect. And it just comes with like a little box of chocolate. And I got these for a dollar as well. So I got eight of these to go in the goodie bags. And I just thought those are so cute. And what kid doesn't like candy. So that. I got that. Okay. Next. Um. I thought there wasn't enough candy, apparently. So I got, um, I just, I had trouble finding candy that had, like, um, like, I tried finding the fruit snacks, because they usually have, like, I don't know, I've seen Scooby-Doo some fruit snacks, uh, Paw Patrol some fruit snacks, so I thought, sure, they'll have, um, you know, superhero. Of course, they did not. So... Um, down the candy aisle, they had, like, the fruit roll-ups, gushers, and fruit by the foot packs. And I remember loving those as a kid. So, I just mixed it up and put different ones in different grab bags. This one happens to have a fruit roll-up. So, that's in there. Okay. Next is this, which these were a really good find. I don't know if all Walmarts have these on sale. Or if it was just my Walmart because they had an abundance of them and they needed to sell. But this is called Ushi's. Um, and it's like a mystery bag. So I know kids are really into that. But it's a Ushi's mystery bag and it's a pencil topper. But it is superhero theme. And it says that you can get all kinds of theirs. The Joker, Batman, Aquaman, Lex Luthor, Green Arrow, Green Lantern, Bane, Batman, Catwoman. I mean, there's like a whole list that you could get. And it's a mystery. And since it's a pencil topper, you get that. And then I found these down the Valentine's Day section. And it came with like eight of them, which was perfect. And it's just like a colored pencil. But since it didn't have a topper, I thought they could put their topper that they get on this pencil. So, you get a pencil in there. And then also a pen to go with the notebook. And then I found these, which I remember seeing these as a kid. They're Wonder Balls. This one is Marvel Edition. So, like, it says you could get Iron Man or Captain America. I think it has, like, little pieces of candy in there. And that's what that looks like. So, they get that, too. To the last item, you guys. So, the last thing in here, which takes up most of the bag, is these Avenger Cups. And they had the yellow one. I think they had a red one. And I think they had a black one. But they all have, like, little Avenger designs on them. This one says mind. I think the other ones say something else. But I ended up getting a mixture of them and putting them in different bags. This one happens to look like this. And this came from Dollar Tree. So 
that would go with the straw that was earlier but anyways that is all that is in the crab bags okay okay so that was the grab bags or the you know party favor bags and next now i used to have a lot more games like we one year we had my daughter's birthday party at the bowling alley so um i had a few more games than i done previously and then um before that we had it at a church um and we did a lot more games like i had a pinata um pin the tail on the donkey type game um all kinds so but now i've been having the last couple birthday parties at ponderosa which i'm sure i don't know if you guys have that where you all live but it's like a buffet and they do let you do some games there but i don't want to do a whole bunch because like i said it is like you mainly go there to eat but i did do some games which are the same games i just like i said follow through with the theme and the first game is i found this i don't know if you could see it but it is a gumball machine guys I found this at Walmart for a dollar and fifty cents. Now the same exact one is on Amazon, and they wanted like fifteen bucks for it. But yeah, I don't know why it was a dollar fifty. I don't know if that's the normal price. I don't know why it was a dollar fifty. It was the last one. Um, maybe you guys where you all live have more in, and maybe you could find it for a dollar fifty. It was a great price. So. Um, I don't know why it's not focusing, but yeah, I usually do this game where I get, uh, hello, why is it so blurry? Uh, hold on. Oh, there we go. Okay. I usually do this game where I get like a mason jar. I fill it up with like gumballs or like gummy bears or you know I try to go with the theme but like I said it was very hard to find superhero candy or anything so I thought this would be perfect because I could put the gumballs and if you guess the right amount of gumballs in here you win a prize so in a way I ended up getting too much gumballs so that's just extra but yeah it comes out it looks like this and it really does work I already tried it you put like a coin in here and you spin it and you get a gumball out and yeah your coins collected in there so but yeah as you can see no it did not come with these stickers on it I actually put these stickers on it that I found at Walmart I don't know if you can see it but they're just a whole bunch of Justice League and superhero theme so I thought that was pretty cool to decorate it in and yeah I just put the gumballs in myself I did count it and um yeah there's like i wrote it down but there's like a little over 200 in here so the parents do get to help the kids um i don't expect the kids to you know i think one year they guess and poor things guess like millions or something in there so i do let the parents help and stuff um and it's just a fun little game they liked it in the past so i thought i'd do it again this time with gumballs Okay, so I only do two games because, like I said, with me having the birthday party at, like, a restaurant, I don't want to do too many games where there would be, like, a lot of mess to pick up and, you know, stuff like that. So, <clears throat> the only other game I have, which these are the tin, tins that those Pez came in, and you know what? I could tell you, Aquaman was that um pez dispenser it says it right here it says cyborg aquaman superman and batman so it was aquaman but yeah um i just decided i would reuse these since it came in such nice tins uh actually there's two tins so let me show you okay in the one tin if you open it up it has cards as you could see now these cards were just it's called like a jumbo um playing cards 
these I found at Dollar Tree, superhero themes. Like this one has Iron Man, Captain America, um, Black Widow, Thor, and then, you know, Hulk, Spider-Man. Anyways, I put them, I put those ones in one of them. And in order to do the game that I'm talking about, I had to get two decks. And since they were at Dollar Tree, it was only $2. And same, same deck, so it has the same characters. You know, Iron Man, um, you know, Captain America. It has all the same characters, same cards. Um, and I got those in that. So, you're probably wondering, like, why did I need two decks? Um, one of them, I don't know why it's not focusing. One of them will be the deck that I leave out on the table that the kids, when they come in, they could pick a card. Um, just one, though. And then this one I will keep with me. And then after all the kids have got gotten a card, um, they will, um, when I go to play the game, or, you know, when we do the games, I will pick a card at random, um, like out of the hat or, you know, out of here and just, like, close my eyes. And then if they get their card drawn, they get a price. So, and also I forgot to show you that, you know, I just got index cards from Dollar Tree. And this jumbo pen that has Wonder Woman on it for the um, kids to write their guess on how many gumballs are in the gumball machine. And I know this is kind of ghetto, but I saw this um, Kleenex box um, while you happen to be sick. And after I used all the Kleenexes, I decided to rip off the plastic. And I thought that this would be perfect for the kids to drop their guess in once they wrote the number. And I would put it on the table. I don't know. I thought it was cute. Okay. Okay, so now that I showed you the two games, which was the first one, which was guess how many gumballs are in the gumball machine. And then the second one was kind of like a matching game. I don't know what you would call it. Like the kids pick a card and then if I draw their matching card, they win a game or they win a prize. Well, of course, I'm not going to, since they're kids, I'm not going to have just one kid win a prize. So, like, what I do is, um, with the gumballs, um, you know, I might have one winner and just announce the winner as everybody's leaving so none of the other kids get upset or anything. But as far as the card game, I did this last year and it worked out really well. I pick the first person's card and they actually get to choose. I got these drawstring backpacks as you can see from Dollar Tree, which has some prizes in it. They get to choose one of these and I actually got two because the, the blue backpacks represent the winner of the game. But then after I announce who won the matching game, whose card matches, um, I'm gonna go in order. So then the next person will get um, their own backpack, which again, I got these at Dollar Tree. They're actually really nice for only a dollar, but I could only find a couple blue ones. That's kind of why I made the blue ones. That way I can know the difference too, that these are the first prize. And then these ones are for the other winners. But so everybody feels like they got something. I just keep going down the row. Like I draw another card and if that person until the last card's drawn. So everybody ends up getting a prize for one of the games. Okay, so with the blue bags, like I said, there's two games, so there's two blue bags. Okay, so if you, I'm not sure how I'm going to go about it, but if you like win the gumball machine, you might get, you know, you get the opportunity to, you know, if that's the first game, they get to pick which blue bag they want. Or, um, you know, could just hand it to them. But either way, 
that's the first prize. And then for the other game, there's another blue bag. So depending on which one the kid picks, this is one of the blue bags. And in it, you have, I don't know why I was in and out of focus. Okay. You have this Avengers Color Alive 2.0. Which I thought this was really cool. I saw these at Dollar Tree again. And it comes with like a coloring book. That you actually get to color. And um, on your iPad or you know with this app that's included. You download it on your tablet. The app. And your drawing supposedly comes to life. Which I thought the kids would like that. So. I couldn't find enough of them to put in all the bags, so I decided to make this a main price because it's kind of big and seems like something kids would like. So that's in one of the bags. Okay. The next thing, which also came from Dollar Tree, is a Spider-Man notebook. Again, couldn't find but two of them, so I decided to put these in the first prize bag. So that came from Dollar Tree. <clears throat> the a pencil, which this is actually in all the bags too. So if the kid wins this, I mean, it's in all the other bags as well. But this one's Batman. And these pencils actually I got off Amazon in a pack of 12. And it was an add-on for like $4.99. So... Um, you couldn't beat that. So, this one is Batman. This, which was from Dollar Tree as well. Again, couldn't find enough of them. So, decided to make them main prize giveaway. And it is actually a Marvel ring of Spider-Man. That you could actually put it on your ring. Or if you collect more than one, you could connect them and make a bracelet. I just thought that was really cool. So that's in there. Okay. Next is this that they sell these. I got this at Walmart. And it's another mystery bag. But this one is a candy dispenser. And um, it is superhero theme. DC. And you could get Wonder Woman, Batman, Harley Quinn. The Joker, the Flash, or Batman. So I thought that was cool. And these were like kind of expensive, like $4.99. So these are the main prize giveaways. So there's that. And then the last thing, well, no. Is this the last thing? Hold on. I don't know if there's anything. Yes, nothing in the front zipper. Okay. The last thing which was, I believe, also $4.99. And this is Captain Marvel Hot Wheels. So I thought, you know, that would be a good prize. If a boy or girl wins it, I thought that would both be something that they would like. And it's Hot Wheels car. So yeah, that is all that's in this prize bag. And I will show you the other prize because it's a little bit different. I mean, there's a couple of the same items, but like, I don't think there's a Hot Wheels car. And again, I ended up getting something else. So I will show you what's in that one now. Okay, so here's the other blue bag, which is since there's only two games, there's only two first, first place prizes, which like I said, are in the blue bags. So for this bag, I got another one of those puzzle or color lab 2.0 where you color on the coloring book and then it comes to life through this app, which I don't know how good these are. Like I said, I got them at Dollar Tree, but I can only find a couple of them. This one is a little different. It is the Superhero Girls, which I thought is cool. So that's in the other bag. And again, like I said, I can only find a couple of these. So, Spider-Man Notebook. This I found, which is uh, a Spider-Man Play Pack, which comes with stickers, crowns, and a coloring book. 
looks like this. Okay. Um, a pencil in this one as well. This one is Spider-Man. Or Superman, sorry. It's a lot of Spider-Man stuff. That one's Superman. One of those rings, like I said, from Dollar Tree. I can only find a couple of those. The candy dispenser, which looks like this. Again, that. And then... This I found at Walmart, which I thought was cool. It is Avengers Pop Spinner Push Pop thing, and it just moves in there. But I thought it was cool as Avengers, or it has Iron Man on it. So, yeah, that's all that's in this bag. Now on to the regular bags. Now, I forgot I actually got eight of these. So, the person that, the kid that wins the first prize gets a blue bag and one of these bags. And then all the other kids get just one of these bags. So, I kind of wanted it to be fair, but I ended up finding a lot of stuff to put in the black bag. So, I wanted the winners to get a little extra um, so that's why I came up with the, um, blue bags. So as for what's in the black bag, I will show you. Let's see. Put anything in these zippers at front. For a dollar, I did not know how well they would work. So I just left them zipped. But these I was able to find, um, enough to do eight bags. So I ended up getting eight bags. So, the first thing from Dollar Tree is a coloring book. I was able to find Wonder Woman, Superman, Batman, the Hulk. And I just got, you know, enough for eight, like, different ones. This one happens to have Wonder Woman, again, from Dollar Tree. So, you can't beat that for a dollar. This superhero puzzle set, um, which when you put it together, looks like that. Dollar Tree as well. Okay. A Spider-Man jump rope. Dollar Tree. Holographic DC Journal, which has, you know, Superman, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, Batman, The Flash, and Cyborg, I think. Dollar Tree. Pretty much everything you see is going to be Dollar Tree or from Walmart. So, this one, the Spider-Man puzzle, Dollar Tree, Avengers Bubbles, Dollar Tree. Oh, I did end up finding these. Well, actually, my fiance found these down the, I think like the cracker aisle, but... It came in a pack of 12, so I just put enough in there for eight. And it's these honey made graham crackers in Justice League. And if you see down here, it has where you can get Superman or Wonder Woman. And it has like the little design on it. So that came in, a, I think they were like $5 for a pack of 12. So they get one of those. Two packs of crowns, this one, which is. Justice League, and then another Justice League Jumbo Crowns, both from Dollar Tree. Since I had extra straws, I put an extra straw in there since they're kind of flimsy. Again, from Dollar Tree. A pencil, this one's Batman. And then these, which, let's see. Which I found these from Dollar Tree. <coughs> <coughs> and it is mystery keychains. I was very surprised to see these at Dollar Tree. Because usually these are like 5 or $6 at Walmart. <coughs> and you could get Batman, Robin, the Joker, Catwoman, 
um, Poison Ivy, Two Face, so all the characters from Batman. Um, and it is a keychain. Again, from Dollar Tree. And that is all that comes in black backpacks. So, yeah. One last thing, which my fiance found this at Dollar Tree as well. It is a photo frame. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. Photo frame, but it's actually made to look like a comic strip or like, I don't know. Just reminded us of like superhero comic strip type thing. And during the party, um, Oh crap, I forgot to show you. I'll show you next. But there's something that I got for all the kids to wear. And if they wear it, they could, you know, put their face in this and then have their picture taken. And you can print them out or whatever. I just thought that was cute. It was only a dollar from Dollar Tree. Okay, so I don't know how I forgot to show you this. But this is... Um from Amazon as well and I got the kids mask and capes. Now these capes, you can find all these on Amazon but I'm not going to take them out because they're individually wrapped. I'm going to keep them like that but there's like a green cape, an orange cape and they're all reversible so like the black one, I think there's a black one in here. If you reverse it, it's yellow. Um, the green one, if you reverse it, it might be like pink. You know, they all have like where you could reverse it. And it came with these stickers that say like boom and pow, which I thought went with it too. So there's that. And then let me read the box. Now these masks, these masks are so cute. I got these off of Amazon. As well, I just typed in, you know, um, superhero masks. And I don't know if these are homemade or not, but they're really well-made quality. And I think they were like $18, and you get a lot of them. I think it says 20 maybe? It says pack of 20, but I don't know if that is the original packaging. Anyways, I'm going to go through them anyways. <laughs> so, I believe this one is cat because there's like cat ears cat woman i believe so cat woman mask <laughs> wonder woman okay the spider-man this one's the joker robin superman hulk then Ninja Turtles, which I have enough that I didn't really do much Ninja Turtles, so I might leave those out, or I don't know, I might have them on the table and the kids could pick their own, but it has the red Ninja Turtle, um, all the Ninja Turtles. So you have the yellow one, the blue one, and then the purple one. Um... I believe this is supposed to be Spider-Girl, since it's the same as Spider-Man, but pink. Iron Man. Batgirl. Uh, I think this one's Wolverine. Cyborg, maybe? I don't know. don't know who a few of these are. Uh, Captain America. Batman. I think this one's Bumblebee, maybe? I'm not sure. And then this one, which this one's really cool. But I'm not sure who this one is. But this one covers up the whole face, which is kind of cool. Yeah, so you get all those masks. And it was like 18 bucks. So yeah, I highly recommend them. And they're really nice quality. It has like an elastic. You can put it around your face. And I'm going to set those out on the table where when the kids come in, they can put a mask and a cape. And then if they want, they could take a picture in that frame. But 
yeah that is everything I got for my daughter's birthday party um hopefully if you all were thinking about doing superhero themes maybe you got some ideas um you know for your little one's party or if you were kind of stuck and you needed an idea maybe this helped um but yeah if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you're not already please subscribe and yeah until then i'll see you guys in the next one bye